Don't forget Earth Day. Earth Day was yesterday, and a big part of Earth Day is education. As we take a look out there, you can see uh, education is a key for future generations. I recently went out to Connecticut where kids are learning about the environment. The program is called Sound Waters, where children are learning about Long Island Sound and the steps they can take to ensure its preservation. It's behind this building, steps from Long Island Sound and blocks away from downtown Stamford, that the next generation of environmentalists are suited up and ready to work. This is Soundwaters, a nonprofit that has been educating young people about science and the health of Long Island Sound since 1989. Lee Shemitz heads up the organization. When a student comes to Soundwaters, what they're gaining now are the insights and skills to understand climate science. The world has gotten very polluted, not just here in the United States, but also globally, and making a small difference, like picking up something small, can make a global impact. Their mission is to teach tomorrow's environmental leaders the science they'll need to know. And learning about the environment at Soundwaters isn't just theoretical. It's not just in a classroom or in a lab. It's right here on the water. The idea is to give practical science experience to these students. We want to take these students and give them the opportunity to actually experience science out in the field and give them the kind of preemptively give them the toolkit uh, to become scientists at a, a young age. It's much different from school. Here you actually get to do things and you actually get to feel like you're making a difference. Nothing short of a perfect program for many young people who live here and go to school here, but who might not otherwise be exposed to the beauty and fragility of the sound, which ripples against their neighborhood's shoreline. We have some students who literally live two miles from here and don't know that the sound exists. Half the kids here have expenses covered, so the program can truly be available to all who have interest. According to the EPA, the sound has fallen victim to pollution from sewage treatment plants, septic systems, and fertilizer and animal waste from the surrounding areas. And rising water temperatures have also affected life in these waters. Complex problems at crisis levels, but there is hope and marked progress. I think these guys are going to do it. I think... Uh... They're already being brought up with the mindset that this is uh, something we need to fix and something we need to do better. These kids know that it's up to them now. Are you changing the future? Yeah, I would like to think so. Well, everything helps. Every little thing helps. I think we can make a huge difference. The data we can collect can have a huge impact. They know they're inheriting a very complicated, a damaged world, and they want to understand it, and they want the tools to make it better. I hope that... 20 or 30 years from now, I am slowly climbing these stairs to recognize one of my former students who has truly changed the sound. And may that come to pass. I want to remind you, this is just part of our Earth Day coverage. You can check out our full 30-minute show about Earth Day. All you have to do is go to NBCNewYork.com slash Earth Day. Great perspective for those kids. And I think a lot of people, we forget, we are part of one big coastal community in the tri-state area. Without a doubt. And, you know, you can't simply sit by and say it's the government that's got to fix it. It's industry that's got to fix it. It's someone else that's got to fix it. Those little things build and become great efforts. We're all in together. All right, Dave, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Great story. You bet. Thanks.